Hey everyone, it's Melanie Ham. Welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a super highly requested tutorial, the newborn booty sock little cute thing. Um, so these are two samples that I made and I had tests. I tested this one out on a friend of mine who had a baby recently, a um, two month old, and this fit perfect. So for this pattern, I want you to pick a light worsted weight yarn. Okay, so something that's a, it's called light worsted. So it, it might still be called a four, but I want it to be a thinner four uh, weight of yarn. And you can use a G hook, which is a four millimeter or an H hook, which is a five millimeter, which is what I'm gonna be using for this yarn. Also, if you head to my blog, I will have the written instructions for you as well as some embellishments, um, some modifications to make it more quote unquote girly. Um, if you want to add any of those things, so you can head over to my blog to see what those are. My goal with all of my tutorials is to empower your creativity. So that's why I just wanted to offer something really basic and simple like this. And then you can take with this and run with it and make it your own. So let's start with our yarn magic circle. I will link my video on the magic circle. If you need more help with that, I have an entire video dedicated to it. So we're going to start with the magic ring, magic circle, little stitch there. We're going to be just doing a simple single crochet stitch. So we are going to single crochet five in the ring. One. Two. Three. four and five. Tug on that free end and we're gonna slip stitch back to the beginning. So not to this little guy here, which is what that little stitch was on the magic ring. We're gonna do it in actually the first stitch, which is here. Slip stitch. Okay, chain one, and now we're gonna do two single crochets in each one of the stitches. So let's look at this really closely. So this is not gonna be considered the first stitch that this is kind of the stitch where this kind of chain one is coming out of. So it's actually gonna be here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so just to make sure that that's clear. All right. Okay, so in here we're gonna single crochet two. And if you need the PDF pattern, written instructions, those are available for you to download on my blog. Two. One, and two. I'll have a bunch of different options over there for you as well. I'll list it out so you can go to your yarn store and pick out the best yarn. And this uses such a small amount of it, you could make all kinds of booties with one ball of yarn. Okay, so we have two single crochets in each of the five single crochets initially, so that will give us a total of 10 when we get back around. All right, so here's our last stitch. And again, two single crochets in there for a total of 10, okay? So now this is like that little chain one right here. So we actually need to slip stitch in this first stitch here. slip stitch, chain one. Okay, so we'll count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, because this is that first stitch. We're not going to be um, stitching in this little guy. We start here. Okay, so we're on track. The next round, we're going to do two single crochets in this first stitch. One, 
two and then just one in the next stitch and then two in the next one I'm gonna go nice and slow so if you're a beginner um, I know a lot of beginners want to make these so we're gonna go nice and slow for this tutorial two and then one And then two in the same stitch and then one okay so finish that I'll meet you here and if you are crocheting along with me feel free to hit that pause button when I go on to the next step um, I just don't want this to be a 45 minute video and show you every single stitch um, but I do want you to crochet along with me. I know that that's really helpful. So just be sure to hit that pause button if you want to catch up and we'll do it together, okay? All right, so we finished up. This was our two and then our one will be here. You should have a total of 15 stitches, all right? Now remember, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do anything in this little chain one guy. We're gonna slip stitch actually in that first stitch and then we're gonna chain one. All right, so double check that you've got 15 starting here, ending here, okay? So now we've only got one more round of increasing until we're just gonna then do one single crochet in each stitch. So I'll show you what I mean by that. We're gonna do another two in the first stitch because we still need to increase to get to the proper size. Okay, so that was one. The first stitch, so we did two single crochet in there, and then we need to do one and then one. So consecutive stitches, not in the same stitch. Okay, so now we do two in the same stitch. And that looks like two SC on a pattern. So two single crochet. If you see it like that on a pattern, that means they want you to do two single crochets in the same stitch. Then if it says SC and then a number like single crochet two, that means you're going to single crochet two individual stitches. Okay, so we just did two and then one and one. Okay, so does that make sense? We started with two, one, one, two, one, one. All right. So continue that going all the way around. You should have a total of 20 when you get to the end. All right, so we're back around. I finished that round. I need to slip stitch. Remember, we're gonna slip stitch in the first chain, not in that chain one. Slip stitch here. And that's pull, just pull through the loop on your yarn. Chain one. And then I wanna count it with you guys one more time. Uh, with a tool where you can see it maybe a little bit better than my nail. Okay, so we're not going to count here. We're going to start counting here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so we got our twenty stitches. Now, this is the size of the toe for newborn size. And new, by newborn size, I mean about zero to three months. Okay, so we did our chain one. Now what we need to do is single crochet in every stitch going around. So there's not gonna be any more increasing. All it's gonna be is a single crochet going all the way around. And, and let me do really quick a refresher on the single crochet. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, both loops. And we're gonna do that in every stitch going all the way around. Until it looks like this. Okay, so as it goes up, the sides will come up on the, as you crochet. So we're gonna just keep single crocheting and each stitch going all the way around until it looks like this. So don't worry, I'll walk you through it. 
um, but go ahead and go all the way around and then I'm going to meet you back at the beginning because that's going to be a little bit different and then I will leave you to your crocheting. So go ahead and finish this round. Okay, here we are back at the beginning. So we need to do one more in this stitch here. Okay, now instead of doing a slip stitch chain one like we did before, we're going to spiral it and we're going to continue our single crochet. So again, this is that chain one, so we don't want to put it in there. We're just going to keep single crocheting right into that um, first stitch. Okay, so don't slip stitch single crochet instead. No need to chain one or any of that. And then we're going to keep going. So you can see kind of there's a little bit of a step up, but as you get going around, you won't even notice. Eliminate, so we have this slight seam here. Um, so once you get started, then you eliminate that seam, which is why we want to do that. And you can double check your sizing. If you already made one, you can just compare that with your first one. And make sure you're on the right track. So go ahead and continue um, crocheting, one single crochet in each one going all the way around. And I will meet you after the next couple of rounds when we get to our stopping point. I'll show you how that works. Okay, so here we are. I only did a maybe five rounds going up um, for this newborn size. Again, if you want older sizes, check out my blog. I have all of those details for you. Um, we need this to be two inches, okay? So two inches there. And then we need to form our heel. So here is the heel, and I will show you how we do that. So when you get to the right spot, you're the right size, no matter really where you are, it doesn't matter where, where you are on the round, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and single crochet back across for half, okay? So I'll show you what I mean. So we're just going to single crochet across. So if, so it needs to be for half. So if we kind of arrange our toe portion here, it needs to go all the way back around to here. Okay, so that's kind of the idea for the heel. Let's see. Let's see how close we are. Yep, that looks good. Okay. So now what we do when we've done half, chain one and go back across. And we need to do this until our heel is an inch. Okay. So keep doing that. It's going to be about six, seven. Uh, rows going back and forth. So continue doing that, go across. When you get to the last stitch here, and here's what that last stitch looks like. Okay, so you need to put your last stitch here, chain one, go back across. And you need this heel to measure one inch. Okay, so go ahead and finish doing that. All right, so we're here. We did our heel. Look, it's not very big. I mean, these are little newborn babies, right? So here's our heel. That's just how it's looking, but I want to show you the proportions. Okay, so we need it to be three inches long. So we need our heel to be one inch, our toe to be two inches. Okay, so that's the proportions for the newborn size. So this is how it's looking. So now what we need to do is seam up the heel. So we need to seam this up here. And the way that I like to do that is this is the outside of our toe, right? So we're actually going to flip it right side together. So 
So this is what it looks like. And then we're going to seam this, the heel. Okay. So it doesn't matter what end you're on, if you're on this side or on this side, and we're going to insert our hook between both sides. Okay, yarn over, pull through, pull through the yarn on your hook as a slip stitch. And then go to the next stitch and slip stitch. And the next one. Okay, and then I want you to add another one kind of like down here because it helps to round out that heel. Okay. Okay, now I want you to cut the yarn and we'll restart it. You can try to travel it back up the side if you want to, but I found it put just too much bulk in the heel and we want this to be comfortable to wear. Pull that through, give it a tug, and now would be a good time to weave in the toe and the heel. So use a yarn needle and this yarn needle is a little bit big for this size of a yarn, but it's right next to me. So. <laughs> You're going to want to um, kind of go in, go back and forth. Just make sure that that tail is secure and that there won't be any unraveling. All right, so now we're ready to do this part. Okay, so we've done our toe, we've done our heel, and now we need to do the tubey part of the sock. Let's grab our yarn and our hook and we're going to attach it back by the heel so pull that yarn in and just tie a little okay all right so we're going to start here and i know that it's the side of the crochet so it's a little trickier to see um, how many stitches there should be so we did six rows, so there should be six stitches going along the side, okay? So that's a good kind of ballpark number to make sure that we don't, um, we have the same on each side, all right? So I just did a little, I attached it and did a chain one. I'm going to start single crocheting over here. Okay, so there would be one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so just make sure you do the same number on this other side. So it just gives you a good feel. And we're just doing single crochet again. So we're going to be doing one single crochet in each stitch going all the way around until you have the height of the sock that you want. That's all there is to it. Okay, so I'm going to put one here in this little corner. And then you can see here where it just looks like a standard single crochet. So it's really easy to see where you're supposed to put your stitches. Okay, so you're going to do that across the top of the sock and then across the side of the heel. Again, make sure you have six stitches or whatever sizing if you've modified it that it's the same on both sides. And then I'll meet you back the back of the heel to show you what to do next. All right, so we're back around to the heel. And I'm going to 
continue with that spiral that we did before. So no need to slip stitch and chain one. We're gonna find that initial stitch, which is here. And we're gonna put our hook in there and continue single crocheting, one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. All right, so here's the next one. And now it will be nice and easy because we did those sides Everything's looking good, and now we can really see those stitches really well. So, for our newborn sides, you can see here is where we started that initial round. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rounds of single crochet to create the top of the sock. And this is just for the basic version. Again, to see the modifications, you can check out my blog. But this gets you started, okay? So let's go ahead and finish this and I'll show you how to fasten it off. All right, here we go. We are done with this part. Um, and you know, here's the thing. I like to make really simple stuff um, and then allow you guys to add to it. So you wanna make this taller? Make it taller. I mean, um, that is sort of my thing. I like to make simple stuff with a really special yarn or really special fabric and then you guys can kind of run with it. So when you reach the height that you want, this is just the basic version, end at the back like we did, like we started, cut your yarn, and then pull it through. And so the way that you weave it in can kind of help to even that back out. You see how that, it was kind of like this, and we can weave it in to sort of smooth that out. You could also end it with a slip stitch and that helps with that too. All right, here we go. This is our little basic newborn booty pattern. I would love to hear how this goes for you. Please let me know in the comment section how it turns out for you, how that newborn baby liked wearing it. Um, I would love to be able to support you in the comments and over on my blog to make sure that I can show you all the different ways that you can use this pattern to bless your loved ones. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Go check out my blog with all of the other details and the other kind of modifications that I prepared for you. Um, I loved teaching you this highly requested tutorial. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.